What's up guys, this is Kefren. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in Conan Exile. Uh, my previous guide, I think it was like two or three years ago. So I'm going to do an update for the new map that just came out, the Island, Isle of Sipta. Uh, so a couple of stuff that we can do to optimize this game. And honestly, if I compare right now uh, versus like three years ago, uh, the game is like well optimized now. So let's start with Windows. So first of all, Write game mode in your search bar. Make sure that your game mode is at on. Uh, it will help you with uh, your game. Uh, for me on my Ryzen processor, just to give you an example, it takes uh, the best score available to run the game. So that's why I'm getting like most FPS with the game mode activated. Make sure that your Xbox game bar is at off. And also make sure that all, all those overlay like Discord overlay, AMD, Nvidia and stuff like that. Make sure that... Uh, they are at off. Uh, for the capture, make sure that the background recording re is at off and the recorded audio is at off. Another thing that you can do is write GPU in your search bar and open the graphics setting. It's a new menu that uh, you need the latest version of Windows 10 and also you need like an NVIDIA card 1000 series or above and uh, activate the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling and you will need to uh, restart your computer to make sure this one is applied. Uh, normally, it gives you like 2 to 4% boost in your FPS. If you have like an IN computer, you will not necessarily see the difference. Another thing that you can do is uh, Reconan Exile is running on DirectX 11. So right click on it, go to manage, browse locale file, write in your search.exe and search for it. So you will need the execute for Conan, uh, Conan Exile. So the one that you need, it's the one with 104 meg over here, the, the biggest file. Uh, right click on it, click properties, go to compatibility. Make sure that disable full screen optimization is check and go to change IDPI setting and make sure to override IDPI scaling behavior is check. Press OK, press OK. Uh, it will help you with uh, your FPS and also you will have less stuttering for people who have issue with that. Uh, another thing that you can do is uh, your driver. Make sure that you update your driver, that you have the latest driver from NVIDIA, AMD, or even Intel. If you have like an Intel GPU, like an integrated GPU, make sure that you download the, the driver on the Intel website. Don't just update your driver from Windows. They just give you like a generic uh, driver to make sure that your uh, GPU is working with your screen, but it's not like for video games. So really make sure that you have the latest version. One more thing, it's the energy profile. So make sure on Windows you're using the uh, balance or the high performance in energy. If uh, you have like an AMD or NVIDIA card, you can go to your control panel also. Go to manage 3D setting. And make sure that the power man management mode is at maximum power. Maximum performance, sorry. Uh, you, you just want to make sure that your CPU and GPU will run maximum when you play a game like this. Uh, because you don't want to limit your hardware. So now we will go inside of the game. And I will show you what uh, parameter that you can optimize to make sure that you have most of the FPS that you can get. So now the graphic parameters. So first of all, let's go to settings. Video. The first graphic parameter that you really need to make sure that to use is the full screen in the window mode. You have the window, you have the window full screen that technically is borderless and you have the full screen. In this game, honestly, just play full screen. You will have more FPS and also you will have less stuttering. For the resolution, I recommend to use native. So depending on your monitor, if you have like a 1080p monitor, go with 1080p, 2K, whatever monitor that you're using. Uh, if you downscale with the resolution, sometimes feels a little bit off and the image clarity is a little bit uh, blurry so really important to use native motion blur you don't want to use that uh, it's an effect that I don't use on any game you <laughs> if you want your game to be like uh, have a good clarity and when you move you don't want to see some blurriness don't use the motion blur the first parameter that will give you a lot of FPS is the volumetric, volumetric fog. Sorry, if you uncheck this, you can get like 4 to 6% boost in your FPS. So really important to uncheck it. I don't use V-Sync. It uh, really depends on you. If you want to have like V-Sync and you don't like tiering and stuff like that. Yeah, it, it creates a little bit more input lag. But in this game, it's not something like huge. 
After that, you have the vertical fog and you're seeing your horizontal, uh, not fog, fog, sorry. And you see uh, your horizontal FOV over there. I uh, mean, I always play my game at 90 horizontal, so I'm putting this one at 74. But I want to mention in this game, when you go higher in the FOV, you will lose FPS because you're seeing uh, more stuff in front of you. You have to render them. So if you're playing on like a budget laptop and stuff like that, don't go crazy with your FOV. Lower this over here, Let, like just do some tests, but you will see an improvement if you lower this. I don't cap my FPS, uh, you can do it if you want, so for an example, some people don't like to use VSync and they just lock their FPS, like for an example, I want 144 when they have a 144 Hz screen. After that, first of all, you have a low-end laptop mod that you can definitely check, but it will put everything at low. So uh, really, like, it doesn't do much, it's more like everything is changed, uh, but anyway. So us, we're going to start with view distance. The first one, I recommend medium. In this game, uh, you want to still see in front of you. Low, I feel like it's too, um, like, it's too dangerous. Because if you're playing PvP, you want to see if someone is coming. And low, you're not seeing far in front of you. Medium, I feel it's a good balance. You're gaining like a nice 7% boost in your FPS. So that's why I'm using medium for this. Post-processing, I'm using low... Um, Yes, you're gaining some FPS, but also I feel like in this game, post-processing caused a lot of blurriness in my image quality. So uh, that's why I'm putting this one as m at low, because everything is more clear. General Shadows, this is the one that will give you the most of FPS. So if you go ultra to low, you can get like a nice 12% boost in your FPS. So this one I recommend to go with low. Effect quality, I recommend medium. Uh, you're gaining in like a nice 2% for each bracket, 2 to 3%, and medium to low, it's like 1%. So this one is a good balance. Uh, and effects, it really depends what you're currently doing. Like uh, sometimes in fighting, and you have like fire and stuff like that, you can have like some random drops. It's probably because of the effect. So again, if you're playing on like a low hand laptop, maybe go with low with this one. But uh, for the rest of us, like just go with medium. Texture quality really depends on your uh, amount of VRAM on your video card. So me, I'm playing at Ultra. If you have 4 gig and more uh, of VRAM, go Ultra. 3 gig I, 2 gig medium, less than 2 gig, go with low. After that, the foliage called quality. This one can give you a nice amount of FPS. Also, it's like 2 to 3 percent for each bracket, but it really depends wh where you are in the map, honestly. Uh, so if you're like in a desert, you will not necessarily see a big improvement. So d definitely like do some testing, but you can get like a nice two to three percent for each bracket. The last one is the anti-aliasing. Uh, anti-aliasing for me, uh, X6 and X4, it's too blurry for me. And also you're losing a lot of FPS. So j definitely use something like X2 or off. Me, I'm playing at off. I don't mind about aliasing, but I know some people don't like aliasing when they're playing. So go with something like X2. You will have a nice boost in your FPS and your game will not be uh, too blurry and you will not see too much uh, aliasing. One more thing that I can recommend you is the uh, camera shake. If you don't like this effect, you can definitely uncheck this over here. Uh, it will feel a lot better. And one more thing, it's about uh, ping. So some people sometimes are saying to me, I, I don't understand, I have like one tw 120 FPS, but I'm still lagging. Uh, I know it's basic stuff, but ping is very important when you're playing online. So choose the lowest ping uh, when you're selecting a server. So for example, you live in East America, like choose a server East Coast or Central, something like that. You want to ping like between like 20 and 60, something like that. Uh, for sure, if you're playing like on the server with uh, more than 100 uh, MS with your ping, you will for sure lag. So really important when you select your server. So that's about it, guys, for the guide. If you have any question, just comment in the YouTube section. Post me your question and your rig, CPU, GPU and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.